Okay, we have to do this again. It is a must because last week I only predicted one out of five games correctly. And now I can't even look at myself in the mirror. And when you have a face and hair like this, you know how hard that is? It's hard. So here are the nine games. Yes nine games that I'm gonna be paying attention to this weekend so that I guarantee that I get more than one right. Starting with Chelsea versus Manchester United. Less than a year after being sacked by the Blues, Jose Mourinho returns to Stamford Bridge for only the second time as the opposite manager. The first time was back in 2010 with Inter Milan in the Champions League, which Inter won one to nothing. But given the recent success of Chelsea after switching to manager Antonio Conte's preferred three in the back, which have been two wins and more importantly, two shutouts, and the fact that United have only won once in their last five Five league games and haven't won at Stanford Bridge since 2012 and the fact that there is no way that these Chelsea players who clearly had a falling out with Mourinho last season will ever let him have the satisfaction of winning this game. So my prediction is going to be Chelsea 2, United 1. Next up, AC Milan versus Juventus. So here's what we know. For the first time in a long time, it's nice to be able to say that AC Milan are solid this season. They're currently tied for second with Roma and Serie A. They've won four out of their last five games. Carlos Baca is scoring goals and is back from injury, and they have some young talent to pay attention to, like 18-year-old Manuel Locatelli. But this is Juventus we're talking about. They've won the last four league titles. They've won 33 out of their last 36 Serie A games, and they have a roster to not only win the league, but to win the Champions League. So they are a club that are on a whole different level from everybody else in Italy, and I think that's going to continue in this game. So my prediction is going to be Juve 3, Milan 1. And now it's time for Sevilla versus Atletico Madrid. Since I've taken over Atleti in career mode in FIFA 17, I absolutely adore this club. And now that they're in first in La Liga in real life, I'm living the dream! But they're taking on a Sevilla team who are in third and who have found a nice rhythm under new manager Jorge Sampaoli, which is evidenced by their current run of form with four straight wins in all competitions, but my Atleti has five straight wins in all competitions, so take that Sevilla, you civilians. Though my prediction is going to be pretty tame. Sevilla 2, Atleti 2. And up next, PSG versus Marseille. Yes, it's Le Classique. The rich and fashionable Parisians from the north versus the hard-working Marseillians from the south. The reigning league champions versus a team that used to be very, very good before PSG got their oil money. The only two French clubs to have ever won a European trophy. And it's, you know what? You guys know what I'm talking about. It's a big game. In just the last week, Marseille got a new American owner. Give it up for American owners. And Frank McCourt, who used to own my beloved LA Dodgers, go Dodgers. And a new manager in Rudy Garcia who helped Lille win Ligue 1 in 2011, so it's obvious that he knows the French League quite well. So it'll be interesting to see how the team responds to all of this change ahead of one of their most difficult fixtures of the season away at PSG. A PSG, I would like to add, that is rounding into form under new manager Unai Emery after he switched to old manager Laurent Blanc's preferred 4-3-3 formation. So my prediction is going to be... Even though Rudy Garcia is going to turn this club around at some point, it's not going to be in his first game. So PSG 2, Marseille 1. And now we have Feyenoord versus Ajax. Yes! The classic game. Now even though Ajax are the most successful club in Dutch history, having won twice as many trophies as their opponent Feyenoord, who just happened to be the third most successful club in Dutch history, history doesn't mean shit this season because Feyenoord have won all nine of their league games, scoring 25 goals and only giving up three during that span and have created a five point gap over second place. And guess who's in second place? Ajax. So if Feyenoord win this game, then the league could be over. It'd be an eight point gap. And I think they're going to do it. So my prediction is going to be Feyenoord 2, Ajax 1. And finally, Sporting Kansas City, Real Salt Lake, the Seattle Sounders, the Portland Timbers, and the Philadelphia Union. With only one game left to go in the regular season, there are four clubs in the Western Conference. Kansas City, Salt Lake, Portland, and Seattle that are separated by two points and they are battling it out for three playoff spots. In the former clubs of Jimmy Conrad Classico, Sporting Kansas City hosts the San Jose Earthquakes and Kansas City should win because the Earthquakes are terrible this season. So at least one of my former clubs is going to make the postseason. Then Salt Lake, who've been struggling to win a game as of late. Travel to Seattle. So two of these four teams are playing against each other, and I think it's going to be tense because of that, and I think they're going to tie. And Portland head to Vancouver, where the Whitecaps would love nothing more than to knock their Cascadia rival and the reigning MLS champs out of playoff contention, and that should happen because Portland haven't won a league game on the road all season. And how is that possible? And then in the Eastern Conference, the Philadelphia Union have been in a free fall these last six weeks, seemingly trying their hardest to not qualify for the playoffs, but all they need to get into the big dance is a tie, and they're gonna do it. They're gonna do it against their rivals, the New York Red Bulls. So breathe easy, Union fans, at least until you get knocked out of the first round of the playoffs four days later. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Once the playoffs start, it's like a brand new season. You guys will be fine. 
All right, that's it. These were my predictions for these nine games. So if you can do better than me with these nine games specifically, not any other games, these nine games, then I will bow down to your greatness on Monday's show. Later. Week, but for me, it means everything. You guys started with me at the bottom. Started from the bottom, now we're here. When I shot my first video in my bedroom, and now we're here, still shooting in my bedroom.